showed some of the good videos, so here's some of the not so good. We're just finishing up, and as I was leaving the field, I saw a big mound of what I thought was a nice big windrow. And, uh, well, it had been sitting there for a while, but not, had not dried out. So I plugged up the feeder house. Thankfully, it was right here in the front. It didn't get all the way back up in. I stopped it right away, hit the reverser, tried to kick it out. I thought I'd kicked it out, but no. When I went back forward again, it was the uh, slip clutch was going on the uh, drive shaft. So I had to uh, come over here to the edge field and um, got a little overconfident of my of the dry weather and the swathing. But uh, dropped the head. The lifesaver, the key to this thing, never mind pry bars, I loosened up the head, loosened up the drum, backed it off, the chains, the gathering chains, everything to try to pull it out, but the key was that little cordless sawzall. I suppose a regular sawzall would do if you had power. Because this, all this mass down here, was crammed into the front right here. It came out about 18 inches. And it was packed tight down in here, under here. So I just ran that 12-inch you know, Sawzall blade back and forth, side to side, as much as I could get out of there. And eventually it worked it loose and pulled it out. So now uh, I'll blow everything out just to make sure I got rid of the crud with the leaf blower. Uh, tighten the, the drum up on the feeder house and the chains and put it back together and park it. I'm still about, I got all the wheat done, it's now in the bin, but uh, my Kearns is probably a week away, probably three or four days away from swathing and then about a week away from, from uh, running through the combine. So I'll go over this and get it all cleaned out so I can uh, put the Kearns in here and we'll see how that goes. On other news, there was a big auction up here, 5,000 acres sold yesterday, and my dad and I bid on some with the idea that if we got it, we would sell some of our poor ground and trade up, so to speak, get some ground closer to home. <laughs> so we were lucky enough that uh, the really big buyers, it was a Schrader auction, I might link to it below, but they, uh, didn't like our combination package. They stayed away from it, at least the price we're willing to pay. They took 80% and the 20% we were fortunate to uh, to get. So I'm looking forward to that next year. I'll have some better ground, a few more acres, and we're gonna start uh, I'm trying to get clover in my rotation. I've tried growing field peas before, but it was always weedy, but I think now I'm gonna try to swath them on a test plot, those weedy field peas, and just opens up some other uh, possibilities for me. So thanks for watching. Here it is uh, August 24th. And, uh, well, bye for now.